As we are sitting out here trying to plan what to make, we realized that it's National Burger Month. So let's go to the store, get some ingredients, and we'll make a couple different burgers. Quick uh, pit stop at the post office. Gotta send out the packages. So that's the gloves and the rub available on our site. So we try to send these out as soon as we get them. So this is uh, load number one uh, for today. We are back from the store, got all our ingredients. So let's get these burgers going. The plan is to make three different kinds of burgers. We've got our buns, a couple different cheeses. We've got some mushrooms. Can't forget the greens, some tomatoes. Got an avocado, Wow avocado, an onion, and a whole lot of ground beef. When it comes to making your own patties and buying ground beef, there's a bunch of different choices at the store. The one mix that I like to use is a ground chuck. So this is an 80-20 lean to fat ratio, meaning 80% of this is fat, which means 80% of this is lean meat and 20% of it is fat. So that's a good ratio in making burgers. So it's gonna be nice and juicy, a little fatty inside and uh, less likely to dry out if you use a leaner mixture. Let's get these prepped up. And there's a couple different ways you can make your patties uh, different size, really depending what you're looking for. Today, I'm gonna go for sort of a pub style burger, meaning the patty's gonna be a little bit thicker. You can do things like a smash burger where you smash them on the griddle, get them super thin and kind of get those crispy edges. So lots of varieties and ways of doing burgers. When it comes to shaping your patties, I like to do about a, a half a pound patty for these pub style burgers so one way is to just kind of do it by hand so just get a nice big lump of this ground beef and then just shape it with your hand just like that one thing you want to keep in mind is to not to overwork it so it doesn't get too tough on you something like this just a nice even somewhat even round shape about a half an inch thick or so and boom there you go there's your half pound patty you can also use a, a food scale to weigh these guys out to make it a little bit more accurate and another way is you can use a, a burger press so this one's from Weber and these are kind of cool because they're uh, double sided. So one side is a quarter pound and then the other side is a half a pound. So if you want to get them super even, if you're making a lot and you know, this makes it a little bit quicker. One thing that you'll need for the uh, burger press is a little parchment paper. So the meat doesn't stick to the bottom or the top. You can also use a little cooking spray, but this is just easier. You can buy these pre-cut, I think on Amazon, they have these like burger press sheets, but uh, save a little money and you can just make it yourself. So we're gonna do a half pound patty. So I'll put uh, one sheet down, take your ground beef, again, just a nice big, big lump of it right on top. We'll put another sheet of parchment paper right on top and then just press this guy down. Okay, so that's uh, not super even. So we'll add a little bit more. Probably should have weighed this down first. We'll really make sure it's a half a pound, but that's okay. It's kind of winging it here today. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, it's a little better. Flip this guy over. So that's another half pound patty. The other thing that this does is it has a little divot, or not a divot, a little thing in the middle. So it makes a divot in your burger. So as this thing is cooking, it's not gonna puff up on you. Here's the uh, burger press one, and here's the handmade one. You can see this one's a little bit bigger. This one's probably a little bit shy of a half a pound, but you know, kind of similar. All right, so that's how the burger press works. Let's make the last one by hand. I don't know why, I just like doing these by hand. It's kind of kind of fun and cool. There you go. I'm just gonna press it together. The one thing when you're making these by hand, you just wanna make sure that your thickness or it's the same thickness all the way around so it cooks evenly and at the same time, boom. Look at that, nice three burger patties. Next up, we're gonna season our patties. We're gonna use three different seasonings. First up, I'm going with my Grillin' With Dad all-purpose barbecue rub, available on the site. So this one's gonna go on our first patty. So just pick them up and just go a nice even layer on one side, Oop, flip it over and do the other side. This burger is gonna be kind of the traditional cheeseburger we're gonna do. So it's gonna be cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion, kind of a traditional way to do a, a burger on the grill. Next up, we're gonna do a uh, spicy Tex-Mex style burger. And for that one, I'm using my brand new, not yet released taco and fajita seasoning. So we're kind of still finalizing the formula there. It's a great way to test these out. So we'll just go a nice, nice little layer of our taco seasoning right on top. Give it a flip and do a little bit more. Since we're doing three different burgers from that one block of ground beef, I'm seasoning just the outside. If you're gonna do all your burgers the same way, you can just season the beef, mix it together, then shape your patty. So a couple different ways of, uh, of getting that meat seasoned up. And our last burger, we're gonna do a mushroom bacon Swiss. No, mushroom onion Swiss burger. We're gonna do sort of a, a classic steak seasoning. So just go pretty heavy with kosher salt and black pepper. 
I'm using this fancy gravity pepper grinder. Basically kind of turn it upside down. It turns on and starts grinding your pepper. Kind of easy to use when, uh, when making videos. Okay, and then we'll repeat on the other side. If you put these burgers on the grill as they are right now, they're very likely to just kind of fall apart and crumble because it's just ground beef. We didn't put any binders, eggs, or breadcrumbs. You know, we're not doing a meatloaf. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about a half an hour or so, and that beef is gonna kind of firm up a little bit and uh, will be less likely to fall apart when we, when we grill it. All right, let's put this on the fridge. Let's put this in the fridge. Just slide these guys right in. And we'll just leave them in there for the 30 minutes, 35 minutes. It'll take the grill to get ready. We'll get all other ingredients ready. Okay, next up, we're gonna fire up the big green egg and show you guys my brand new high heat grilling gloves. Look at these. These are uh, heat resistant to like 1400 degrees. They're perfect when using the grill. Keep your hands nice and clean and safe. Most importantly from, uh, from the heat machine washable, they are available on the website as well. So for this cook, I'm gonna be using my large big green egg. This is gonna be great for, uh, for our burgers. It's gonna be a high heat, direct heat cook meaning I'm gonna get the charcoal fired up, put the grate on top, and I grill the burgers directly over the coal. I'm using these uh, starter cubes to uh, get the charcoal lit. So put one on one side, this one goes here, and let's light these guys up. I'll put the grate right back on top, just like so. So when the charcoal is ready to go, we'll put the burgers directly on the grate. They're gonna cook over those coals. It's gonna give it that nice kind of grilled flavor. And uh, yeah, they're going to be awesome. So let's get all our toppings ready, get everything nicely organized. So the first one is the all-American burger. First up is some, uh, some cheese. And I can't do an all-American burger and not use American cheese. Now I know there's a lot of debate about this being, you know, real cheese or not real cheese, but it's just so good on burgers. It melts very nicely. It looks great. It tastes really good. We're gonna go with a couple slices of American American cheese. Next up is some lettuce. I got this kind of a fancy looking lettuce. You can use iceberg, really anything you want. And that's one of the great things about burgers is, well, you can kind of customize it to your liking. Get some greens, make it healthy. Next up, we've got a tomato. I like tomatoes on my burger, so just cut up a couple slices. Next up, we've got a red onion. You can just slice it up and serve it raw on your burger. Uh, we're gonna grill these up a little bit and we'll cut a couple bigger slices just like this. And then I'll put this whole thing on the grill to kind of char it up a little bit. It's gonna soften up and just give it that really nice flavor on the burgers. And our last ingredient is going to be a burger sauce. Can't do a uh, tasty burger without a sauce. And we're gonna keep it uh, pretty simple. So I've got some uh, ketchup, some mayo, and some, uh, some relish. We're also gonna add more of our barbecue seasoning to it. It's going to be delicious. So about equal parts of ketchup and mayonnaise. Then we'll go in with our with our relish, gonna give it a little sweetness, a little tanginess, and finally a little barbecue rub. We'll mix this guy together. Now, if you're doing this at home or you're adding other ingredients to your sauce, just taste as you go, right? Take a little bit and see if you like it. And I like this one a lot. Our sauce is ready and we've got our first tray for our all American burger. Next up, we've got our Tex Mex inspired burger. Might not be like 100% authentic Tex-Mex, but just kind of those Tex-Mex like flavors. We're gonna start similar to our last burger with a little lettuce. Just really like greens on my burger. It looks nice, gives a little crunch, a little freshness. We're also gonna go with our red onion, but this time we're gonna keep it, uh, keep it raw. So we're not gonna grill this one. And we'll do a nice, nice slice or a couple slices. For the cheese on this one, we're going pepper jack. A little spicy, it's gonna give it a little kick. Check this out, right? You can see all the peppers in there. Next up, we've got an avocado. So we're gonna mush this guy down. And it's gonna go in the bottom of our burger. We're gonna give it a little cooling, a little creaminess and that nice avocado flavor. Let's cut this guy right down the middle like this. This avocado is nice and soft so I can just squeeze it right out. Squeeze the other half out. Hit it with just a little bit of salt. Take a fork and a mush, mush this up. Yeah, just like that, that looks pretty good to me. You can still leave it a little bit chunky. You can also use slices if you want. Whatever floats your boat, you can do whatever you'd like. And finally, we're gonna do a sauce for our Tex-Mex burger too. Gonna go out sort of a spicy mayo. Another hot topic of debate in uh, cooking social media is mayo brand. So we are a Hellman's family. That's what I, what I like, what my kids like, what our family uses. Duke's is another big brand. Uh, we've tried, I mean, it's not too bad, but uh, let me know Let me know what's your favorite mayo brand in the comments. Uh, curious to see. I think there's a lot of kind of regional differences depending where you live. That's the kind of mayo brand that uh, the people like to use. And for a hot sauce, I'm going with this uh, smoky chipotle hot sauce. This is by my buddy, The Vulgar Chef. It's made by uh, Nukes Hot Sauces. It's really good, has all those kind of traditional flavors that I'm looking for. It's a little smoky, spicy, has that nice chipotle flavor. We'll go with a nice little pour of this hot sauce for our burger sauce and we mix it up. And again, uh, we're going to give it a taste just like with the other sauce to see if it's, if it's good. 
Oh yeah, it's really nice. And uh, lastly, we're gonna do our bacon mushroom Swiss burger. So we're gonna do that in the uh, cast iron skillet to start. So I gotta saute down the uh, mushrooms and the onions. Oh, let me get the butter too. <laughs> Okay, I've got my butter. Today we are just, uh, we're just out of it doing this video. We keep forgetting stuff. Anyways, let's, uh, let's just get it going and get this thing finished up. I've got about a quarter stick of butter in my cast iron skillet. Next up, I've got some uh, sliced white mushrooms. We'll just add that right in. I think these have been washed. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we're just gonna go with it, okay? So we've got our mushrooms and we're gonna go with a uh, onion. We'll add this to our mushrooms. I'm also gonna do some bacon and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this little grate, this little grate right on my cast iron skillet and I'll put a couple of uh, slices of bacon right on top. So as this bacon is cooking, it'll render down into our mushrooms and into our bacon or into our onions. We'll see how it comes out. Our grill now is cruising at 350 degrees. So again, it's set up for direct heat. You can see that fire kind of built up a little bit over the last, you know, five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the cast iron skillet right on top. I'm gonna close the lid and try to maintain the temperature at that 300, 350 degree range. So nothing burns and we get those nice sauteed mushrooms, the onions and the crispy bacon on top. Our onions, mushroom and bacon have been on for about 10 minutes or so. So let's take a quick look and I'm gonna have to give these guys a stir. Ooh, look at that. Bacon is looking real nice see so all that fat is rendering down into our mushrooms and onions we're just gonna stir this up a little bit it smells really good nice color on the mushrooms onions are getting nice and soft put this right on top and get this finished off our onions mushrooms and bacon is done check that out Beautiful color in those mushrooms, the onions. I'm gonna keep it in the skillet so it stays nice and warm. Our patties are out of the fridge. So you can see they firmed up nicely. That seasoning started to absorb. They kind of sweated a little bit in there. So they've been in there for about 30 minutes or so. So now we're gonna get them on the egg. So this is right around 400 degrees right now. When it comes to cooking these on the big green egg over charcoal, we're just gonna place it right down and just go one right next to the other. I'm gonna close the lid and let this cook for about four minutes or so, then I'll come back and give it a flip. If I leave the lid open, it's gonna start to flare up because of all that fat that's gonna be dripping down on the coals. So closing the lid controls your flare ups on the charcoal grill, so keep that in mind. These have been on for about four minutes now, and as you can see, the smoke is starting to build up a little bit more because as that burger's cooking, all that fat's dripping down. Let's take a quick look and give these guys a flip. Look at that. These are some nice looking patties. Just give a nice flip. Same thing here. One other thing that we'll do, I'm gonna add my uh, sliced onion to kind of char this up a little bit. So right there on a the grate, put another one on there. Burgers have been on for a few more minutes. They are getting close to finish. So now we're gonna put our cheese right on top. These are some nice looking patties. I flipped the onions as well, just to give them that nice even cook. Let's go with our American cheese first. So that's this one right here. Next, we've got our Swiss on the mushroom bacon. And finally, we've got our pepper jack on the Tex-Mex style burger. Close to the finish. Almost ready. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. See, look, let me show you the difference on these cheeses. Check out this American cheese. Look how nicely it melted all over that patty. All right, you've got that Swiss, which, you know, got melty, but still kind of kept that square shape and same with the pepper jack. This is why I really like doing the American cheese on, uh, on burgers. One last thing before we assemble is we got to toast up our buns. I'm using these uh, sesame seed buns. You can really use whatever you'd like. These will go super fast. I'm not putting any butter or anything else on them. I'll just put them right over the coals and they will toast up very, very quickly. Let's assemble these burgers. I'm really excited to try all of them out. Uh, let's go with this uh, all-American one first. We've got our patty, so we'll go sauce on the bottom. The nice even layer. We'll go with our uh, greens next. We've got our beautiful looking bun, or our patty I should say. Our grilled red onion and tomato. We'll go with a little bit more sauce on the top bun. First burger ready and assembled. Let's do our Tex-Mex style burger next. We're gonna go with our mashed up avocado. Just a nice thick layer of that. Put a little lettuce. We already got a bunch of green in the avocado, but we'll go just a little bit of that lettuce on there. We've got our pepper jack patty. We're gonna go with the uh, raw red onion. Got our spicy chipotle mayo. This will go on the top bun. Burger number two, ready to go. And burger number three, our last one. This is the uh, mushroom, bacon, and Swiss. For this one, we're gonna go with a little barbecue sauce. Going with Sweet Baby Ray's. It's a local favorite. I like it. As always, you guys can use whatever sauces you like. We've got our patty with the uh, Swiss cheese. We've got our mushrooms and onions. And just top that on or just like that. Bacon is next. I'm just gonna break these guys in half so it's a little bit easier to assemble. And we'll go with a little bit more sauce on our top bun. 
and there she goes still working on those thumbnails and to make it look nice and pretty for you guys thumbnail is done pictures are looking great so let's try it out i was just thinking if i should cut them in half or not i think i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go for it whole just like this so let's go with this one first these are such nice looking burgers look at this let's go for it here we go mm. mm -hmm. wow it's a really good burger the cheese the sauce the patty is really flavorful the grilled onion adds a lot of flavor to it too. You can kind of taste that oniony, but it's a little sweeter onion flavor because it was cooked. Uh, nice and smoky flavor. Yeah, this one is uh, this one is delicious. Okay, let's go for the uh, Tex-Mex kind of flavored one. Here we go. Ooh, wow! It's got a little heat that kind of sneaks up on you at the end, but that avocado is so good on it. Oh man, avocado is perfect with this burger. A little spicy, tangy, really nice kick to it. It's delicious. Okay, last one. This is our Swiss bacon, mushroom, onion, barbecue sauce. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that last one might be my favorite. Get those onions, the mushroom, the bacon, sweet barbecue sauce, that nice meaty patty. You really can't go wrong with any of them. I mean, the best thing about burgers is you can put whatever toppings you want, whatever flavors you like. I think I might, I might just continue eating this one. So uh, I think that might be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you're making some burgers, let me know. And uh, if you like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. And I'll just hang out here and finish eating my delicious burger.